Hello, this is Ryan Dickus going over standard 4MBT5 number in operations in base 10. Okay, we are preparing for the unit 2 assessment, which is coming up. Of course, when the year changes, this date's going to change. But standard 4MBT5 is multiply up to four digits by one digit number. We are moving on to number 2. All right, let's set it up. Okay, here we go. First off, just going to read the problem straight out loud in each choice, and then we're going to break it down and go through all the different strategies. Follow along with the pencil, please. Santiago solves 7 times 16. He says, I can find the product if I multiply 7 times 15 and then add 7. Select the statement that best explains if Santiago's strategy is correct. Let's go through each choice. Santiago is incorrect. Incorrect. Correct. Correct. Santiago is incorrect because he should add 16 instead of 7. Santiago is correct because 7 times 16 is the same as 15 groups of 7 plus 1 group of 7. Answer C. Santiago is incorrect because 7 times 16 is the same as 4 groups of 7 plus 4 groups of 7. And last answer, D, Santiago is correct because he can change the 16 to use an easier number to multiply like 15. All right, let's break it down. Now, you can use a number of different strategies to annotate, mark, highlight, um, do whatever your math teacher recommends for you. And of course, you can use some of these strategies. I also like tying on some language arts um, annotating as well. What do I mean by that? So I take a blue highlighter. Let's just identify the proper noun, which is Santiago. The name can change in the problems, so it's not a big deal and we see those. So the reason why we do it in blue, blue is for proper nouns. Proper nouns are like your name. It starts with a capital letter. Next up, let's identify all the numbers. So I'm gonna highlight the numbers in yellow so the numbers can pop out. Remember, this is math. In the end, you are going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. And you'll be using numbers. See how all these are popping out? And then in language arts, when we annotate, I like to identify the quotes and put them in orange so you can see what the person or the character or whomever is saying. All right, now let's break down the words and the terminology. Let's circle keywords. Or even more important, let's identify key academic vocabulary. Solves. Statement, best, strategy. And we could even write those words out. So Santiago solves 7 times 16. So I'm going to write it above. He says I can find the product. Another word for product is to times multiply. If I multiply 7 times 15 and then add 7. So he's saying 7 times 16 is equal to 7 times 15 plus 7. Is this true? And that's what we need to figure out. So select the statement that best explains if Santiago's strategy is correct. Okay, first off, we need to see if he's right. All right, so notice how this one, this says incorrect, incorrect, and then B and D say correct and correct. So right away, let's see if this is correct. Seven times 16 is equal to seven times 15 plus seven. Okay, let's simplify this dramatically. All right, let's say we had two times three. All right, I'm just making up a scenario. All right, two times three is the same thing as one group of three plus another group of three. So multiplying is just a fast way of adding groups. So let's go to that. If seven times 16, we have 15 groups now of seven, and you would just have one more group of seven. So that would technically be like 15 plus one is 16. 
there's 16 groups. So we know this is true. Look at answer A. Santiago is incorrect because he should add 16 instead of 7. No, that's not right. And look at C. Santiago is incorrect because 7 times 16 is the same as 4 groups of 7 plus 4 groups of 7. We already know there needs to be 16 groups. This is only giving you 4 groups and 4 groups. 4 plus 4 is 8 groups. We need 16. So we know that's not. So now, since we know Santiago is correct, because 15 groups plus one more group is 16 groups, which one of these statements best explains? Let's see. Santiago is correct because 7 times 16 is the same as 15 groups of 7 plus one group of 7. Right there. 15 groups of 7 plus one group of 7. This makes sense. Let's just double check, make sure that D is not correct. Santiago is correct because he can change the 16 to use an easier number to multiply like 15. Well, what's wrong with that is you are still leaving away the one group of seven left over. So that doesn't make sense. So that's wrong. So correct answer is B. Santiago is correct because seven times 16 is the same as 15 groups of seven plus one group of seven. Now, see the example I used down below? We could do... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here is 7 in the group. All right, and if I move it up a little higher, now you can see it. But this is only one group. I would need to do 15 more of those and draw 7 little circles. And keep going until I hit 15 more, which is going to take forever. Since we're in fourth grade, we multiply, and we know now that 7 times 16 is the same thing as 15 groups plus another group. Hope that helps. Have a good one. Bye.